Joining us now to talk more about that story, we have Democrat analyst Michael John Gray and Republican analyst Bill Vickery here with us this morning. Good morning, you guys. So what are your thoughts on this reoccurring payment? Can we see that happen? So, uh, you know, uh, go ahead, Bill. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, so, so, yeah, why not a 10th or 11th or 12th payment uh, at a time when small businesses, especially restaurants, are begging for employees? Um, it, it, it just seems at some point in time, the bill's going to come due for all of this. I mean, we're, we're plunging the nation even more trillions of dollars in debt. There was a moment in time when this was important and pure. And since that time, since the initial stimulus package back in June of last year, we've seen a Christmas tree bill, much like the transportation bill, which was rolled out. And we're paying Americans not to go back to work. That's in essence what we're doing with these stimulus payments. I understand there are people out there who are hurting who need it, and, and there should be a means test for this. There should be uh, the idea of what, what the job that you had in the past, but this sort of willy-nilly spending is we are, somebody's grandkids are gonna pay the tab for this. So uh, Bill has confused two issues and I know he never makes mistakes. So I, I think this may be the talking point for the Republican party, but we're talking about stimulus checks, not unemployment. We can have a real discussion about how we need to get unemployment. Same thing. What they're, where they're only making, we, we ought to fix this unemployment thing where it's not an incentive not to work. But a stimulus check, we're saying that 95% of that money is going right back into the economy, right back into those small businesses, right back into these restaurants. If we can boost the economy, we never hear the Republican Party cry when they say, one more tax cut for the Fortune 500 companies. We never hear them cry about that. But now we're talking about putting some money in the hands of people that will put it right back in our economy. Don't confuse us with unemployment. There's some real discussions that need to be made around what we do about unemployment so we're not incentivizing mm -hmm. people not to work. But a stimulus check that's going right back into these small businesses, cash registers, it's worth discussion. Do you think Arkansans can use something like this? I think they absolutely can. I think if you ask any small business in any small town in Arkansas, they saw an uptick when the stimulus checks came out. People were spending money. They were going out to eat. They were buying goods. They were. It, it's exactly what it's doing. It is stimulating our local economies, and I guarantee Arkansas will benefit. Do you think that the vaccination process, though, is changing the game here? Because we're starting to. See, there was a survey that was out that we talked about earlier. A lot of CEOs saying that we can start to see people return back to work. Do you think that that would change if we get another stimulus check in the mail? So I don't think the going back to work oh. is not the issue. If you want to talk about fixing the unemployment issue where we're giving people over and above what they should be getting on unemployment, that's a different discussion. Stimulus is not keeping people from going to work. It's one or two or three or a few times injections into their economy. This is not something that's keeping somebody from going back to work. Unemployment, reforming that system, that's a better discussion. Okay, Bill. I, I, I'm sorry. It's de facto unemployment. That's what we're talking about here. When people look toward their stimulus check and then that's how they're going to maintain their lifestyle going forward. That's why you see restaurants in the city of Little Rock today begging for employees. They can't open all the way up, not because of any more restrictions, but because they can't get the employees to come back to work. When you, it, That's one end of it. That's the de facto unemployment. The other side, when you see upper middle class families receiving stimulus checks when they never lost their job, when things never went wrong for them, then we're beginning to subsidize a lifestyle for the upper middle class on the other end of the spectrum, which is wrong. So yes, it would be awesome if the government could give us all a million dollars a year, but they, we can't do that. It's unsustainable. And we've reached a point where we're gonna have to wean the American public off of this stuff because the government won't do it. And that's why you see these 21 senators, this has become a new thing now. We're, we're, we're re-engineering how government impacts individuals' lives. And at some point in time, your grandkids or kids are gonna to have to pay the tab for this. And it's, and it, by the way, we do all this with manufactured debt, the 10 year treasury note, which is owned by who? China. So uh, this is the long-term effect of this. This is not short-term stuff. This has a real long-term impact. All right, you guys, sorry, I wish we had more time. Bill, Michael, John, that's, that's all that we have for today. We have to go straight to break.